Here's lesson seven and nine tenths, generating and identifying patterns. So the why to our lesson today is we need to be able to generate, which means make, and analyze, which means to make sense of patterns. We want to be able to use our place value understanding and the properties of place value to help us perform multi-digit arithmetic. That sounds complicated, right? But no, it's kind of fun. So if you like doing puzzles, I think you'll like this lesson. So we're first going to talk about um, a couple of vocabulary words because we need to understand what Mrs. Diem is talking about in class. So we're going to talk about rectangular numbers. And these are numbers represented by rec rectangular arrays. And the number of rows and the columns increase by one. For example, if I have this as my rectangular number, that means I have one row of two. So if I'm trying to figure out what my next rectangular number is after this number, that means that I am going to increase my row by one, and I'm going to increase my column by one. So what I would get when I did that would be this. So as you can see, I have increased the row. So instead of one row that we started with, and I moved that over here so you could see, this is what we started with. And then I increased it by one row, and I added one column. So if we want to figure out what the next number is going to be, we would have something that looked like this. So as you can see, I took this part and put it here. So this is what my original one was. I had six dots. I added another row, and I added another column. So if I were going to list these numbers as um, rectangular numbers, then I would say 2 is a rectangular number, 6 is a rectangular number, and 12 is a rectangular number. Can you think of two more rectangular numbers in your notes? So now we're going to talk about what's called triangular numbers. The sum of consecutive, meaning that the numbers come after each other when you count, like 1 and 2, when added, so 1 plus 2 is going to give me 3, is a triangular number. Another example would be if I had 2 and 3, when I add those, 2 plus 3, I get 5. So 5 is a triangular number. So let's look at some pictures to go with the triangular numbers. So as you can see, the first picture I started with 3 because that's what we got with 1 and 2 consecutive numbers. We added them together, we got 3. Then I took 2 and 3, added those together. That gave me another triangular number, which is 5. And then how did I get this one? Did I add two consecutive numbers? How did I get that? If you figured out I did not add two consecutive numbers to get that particular number, I added three. So if I took one plus two plus three, that gave me this consecutive number which is 6. I never said that you had to have two numbers, did I? Okay, so this is kind of like a pattern, a puzzle that you have to figure out, and you will be doing this in class. So in class, we will work with partners to find patterns, create patterns, and find those triangular and rect rectangular numbers that I have just introduced. We've got this. Can't wait to see you. Bye for now.